Hello friends, today's session we are going to discuss about engineering design process. Design is the process of imagining, planning and the creation of the objects, systems, buildings, vehicles, whatever may be. We are doing some modification or we are solving that doing that is called design. Engineering design is a process of decision making done by the engineer. Engineering design is the best method for planning and use of available resources. Limited resources can be used only by the engineer. Existing problem can be solved or new solution can be created. It's about creating the solution for the people. It may be a old, uh, older problem can be solved or new solution can be created. But it, it should be a solution for the people. Let's see the definition by Henry. If a point of contact between the product and the people becomes a friction, then the industrial designer has failed. Suppose, on the other hand, if the people are made safer, more efficient, more comfort, then by conducting with the people along with the, these constraints, then the designer has succeeded. Who fulfills the customer requirement that designer has succeeded let's see the classification of engineering design there is three types of engineering design first one is adaptive design second one is development design third one is new design this adaptive design is concerned with the existing design procedure this is nothing but uh, what procedure we are regularly following minor changes can be adapted here little changes can be done here designer must know about the methods of manufacturing materials and original designs let's take example of bicycle <laughs> this bicycle is uh, manufactured based on the existing procedure little innovation can be done so uh, the cycle is changed to a gear cycle and the design is changed but the output is the same bicycle in development design is started with existing design procedure but adapting creative thinking and final product may vary for example bicycle to motorcycle manual gear to automated gear it is started with the existing uh, bicycle but by introducing the motor it is converted into a motorcycle new design is nothing but design never existed before designed by the dedicated scientifically higher order persons who has done lot of research creative brain experimental activity uh, they can do the new design for example aircraft ship ships are a best example uh, when they introduced newly to the society let's see the engineering design process first process is problem identification in engineering design process first of all we need to identify what problem what solution we are going to give the people that is problem definition we need to know very well about the problem then do the background research after getting the problem what are the factors involving into the problem everything we need to do to know about the problem specific requirements here whether something is need for the component whether it is going to use in some specific areas for example this component is going to be used in a heat zone area it is going to be used in a oil areas everything we need to know then brainstorm evaluation and solution in fourth step a number of experts from the r d team and the manufacturing team and the usage persons everybody sit together they should discuss to evaluate the best solution development of prototype here the product is manufactured and finally it is tested and documented after test, uh, solution is tested it is feasible means it, it it will go into the market or else again we need to do brainstorming to develop the best solution here machine design first of all let's know what is machine machine is an assembly of constrained elements to perform specific task whatever may be the task number of links and the elements constrained together to do the work that is called machine it transmit one form of energy to other form of energy 
which one is converting one form of energy to other form of energy that is called machine here machine design is converting any form of energy to mechanical energy that is called machine design what are the objectives of machine design defining the best shapes here we are going to design the best shape in engineering design selection of right material because for a, a special purpose only we need to go complicated material or else we can use uh, right material with low cost and selection of manufacturing process here we can select the what machines we have within the industry so we we can select the manufacturing process and the defining proper tolerance because the machine uh, is a, not a single element number of element is connected together it is going to function as a machine so we can maintain the tolerance for a single product and assembly product also defining the strength and rigidity based upon these two factor only all the components should be designed strength and rigidity factor surface finish suppose there is a friction to uh, we should be reduced we can increase the surface finish preparation of detailed worksheet this detailed worksheet is going to be a documentation purpose these factors should be a main objective for a machine design let's see the machine part standardization for example if you take a fastener belt chains coupling these are the uh, standard component ready madely available in the market so for these component manufacturing we no need to uh, go for a special process because these all are ready madely available with cheaper cost the main purpose of standardization is interchangeability suppose if we are doing a standard parts means we no need to depend on our manufacturing facility because it's ready madely available so e easily we can replace so the production will not be affected let's see the different types of standards in indian standards we are following bureau of indian standards bis international standards american gear manufacturer association agma american society of mechanical engineers ASME, American Society for Metals (ASM), American Society of Testing and Materials (ASTM), British Standards Institute (BSI), International Standards Organization (ISO), and National Bureau of Standards (NBS). These are the number of standards we are following. Let's see. This is the requirements of machine elements. First of all, function. because we are doing the design to make a functional element so what design we are doing that should be a functional part without considering the functions we cannot design a component so if you design that component that should be do the function and strength because when we are applying the load on the component so it should withstand the strength without the strength if you design it will not withstand the load it gets failure rigidity so when we are applying the shock loads it should withstand the load and wear resistance for continuous rotation it should resist the wear and minimum weight weight should be minimum so the working person will work efficiently but we should not tolerate with these two factor weight should be minimum but this weight should not be comp compromised with the strength and rigidity manufacturability whether it's a possible to manufacture process and reliability because our component should satisfy the customer requirement also it should run for a specific specific period of time what are the factors to be considered in design availability of indigenous material suppose we are manufacturing the component raw material we are making means we no need to depend on others so time of production will be reduced usage of standard size we discuss uh, very detail about this uh, because standardization we can reduce the manufacturing steps availability of manufacturing facil facilities so if all the facilities are available within the industry so we no need to give to the another vendors functional tolerance uh, tolerance should can be minimized if you maximize the tolerance rejection will be reduced safety requirements uh, here sharp corners can be avoided so the component handling will be easy and the aesthetic appearance this is the best 
on the last factor because uh, aesthetic appearance will attract the customers after completing all these steps final step is aesthetic appearance we need to concentrate on this aesthetic appearance also let's see the bolt manufacturing process first of all we need to take a steel wire rod and uh, we should make a straight because in the number of rods there is a chance for a bend also so we need to make straightening after that our uh, rod cutting for record length we need to make a cut and the head making suppose it's a square shape or hexagon shape everything we need to make so head we should make head and the trimming after cutting we need to make trim at the edges then thread rolling finally we will get finished bolt this is the manufacturing steps by keeping in the mind uh, these steps we need to design a new kind of bolt these are the mind map in design engineering design and uh, we known about three types of design steps in the design process objectives of machine design requirements and factors standardization and uh, global standardization thanks for watching subscribe and share with your friends thank you